Hundred years ago, in Rome, there used to live a slave. His name was Andro Clege. His boss was very cruel. He used to give his slave lots of work, like cutting wood, getting water, working all the time. If he made any mistake, then his boss would beat him up a lot. One day, he was beaten for some small mistake he made. He was beaten so much he started crying, and then he ran away. His boss could not figure out where he had run off to. After a while, he reached a jungle, and for some days he lived in a cave. He used to go out in the daytime to eat fruit and drink water from the river. This was his new life. And that is how many days passed. One day, he came out of the cave to gather some fruit. As soon as he was back in his cave, he found someone there. He found out it was a lion. That lion was in so much pain. He could only use one of his legs, and he seemed to be hurting so very much. When the slave looked closely, he found that a thorn had gotten stuck in the poor lion's leg. He got close to the lion. He took the lion's leg in his hand and very slowly pulled out the thorn. He used some bandages. Now the lion was feeling better. After two or three days, the lion's leg healed. Then one day, the lion left the cave. Andro felt very good. Many days had passed, and he became bored. He was wondering what he should do. Where should he go? So he decided to visit a different city. So he left the cave and reached a city. But his bad luck was following him. That very same day, his cruel master had also come to the city. As soon as he saw Andro, he shouted to nearby soldiers to arrest him. His army men put Andro in jail. That time in Rome, there was a rule that captivated criminals are fed to the lions. For a couple of days, he was in prison. And after some time, he was put in front of a lion. There were so many people to see, including the king of Rome. Then the cage was opened, and Andro had one tiny knife with him to protect himself against the lion. When the lion saw Andro, it roared very loudly. It was about to attack Andro when suddenly the roaring lion realized that he had seen this man somewhere. When it looked closely, it realized that this was the same man who helped him. The lion bowed in front of Andro and started licking Andro's feet. The people were astonished, and so was the king. Actually, Andro was also astonished that instead of getting eaten, why, this lion was licking his feet. When he looked closely, Andro realized that this was the same lion that he had helped once. He sat down and started to pet him. The king did not understand. What was he supposed to do now? He asked his guards to get the lion back in the cage and bring that slave to me. They brought the slave to the king. The king asked him, How is it that the lion did not kill or eat you? Then Andro told the king that a couple of weeks ago, he had pulled a thorn out of the foot of the lion. And that is why the lion didn't kill him. The king asked him, Why weren't you scared? while you were helping the lion. Then Andrew said, Why would I be afraid? This lion can't be as mean as my master was. After listening to this, 
The king was so touched, and he appreciated Andro, that the king declared from now on, Andro would no longer be anyone's slave. Andro received a large reward, and then his cruel master was arrested and sentenced to two years in prison. So, my friends, the moral of the story is treat others as you would want to be treated with kindness and helpfulness. <laughs>